this is my first one this this little building's on a trailer it's just ten and a half foot wide i actually take it around to shows and put these steps down so people can get in and out and somebody kind of left the door hang open here and the barn swallows got in there and made nests so this thing is going to get cleaned up we're going to probably move it up on top of the mountain it's going to kind of become my guest room in a office or something but this is one idea that we had for putting a covered porch on it and then you could go ahead and build a deck the rest of the way so let me get to this back to the mock-up answer any other questions and i hope tim and everybody else i hope you uh get your questions answered well here we are i thought i'd go ahead and take a couple pictures of this thing we have got it i'll show you the inside of this thing but we uh now cut doors and windows right through the side kind of like putting a dormer up and i'll show you this side here and we'll go over and take a picture of the window right quick and then we'll go inside well here it is on this side and this is just where we put a window in it i kind of came up with this thing because in a in a two-story one you'd actually be able to put this window upstairs and if you're building one 25 30 feet long something like that it gets kind of dark in the middle of it but uh i'll take you inside and kind of show you how i did it well this is the inside of the window of course we just framed up went between the two arches and then just put some straight upright pieces just like framing a window out and then just took the, the arch piece from that was there wherever it intersected the top of it we just put some straight ones out there made them straight and then put the insulation in between it you can kind of see from the the curve right here what we actually built out this was actually the this is actually the curve of the whole structure and we just add that in just like putting a dormer in a house same thing on this side except then it has a door and what my idea on that is is we then you can put like a patio door on the first floor going outside right in the side of it you're just not using the ends you know you just end up with a probably blind you with that thing but window on one end door on the other but this gives you light in the middle of it well here it is this is just two arches this is some of the insulation board we use and tim and a couple people asked about why i put three inches on the outs on the inside part of this house right here and then four inches on the other side and i'll show you when i try to put this piece back in but as you can see, it doesn't give you a whole lot here to nail to on either side or to seal it up. So what that extra half inch does, instead of three quarters of an inch to try to hit in there, you're hitting about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Makes it a little bit easier. While I got this thing off, I'll show you. This is the screen wire. I'll go over on my little mock that I did on my mock setup. But this right here is actually the screen wire and that's actually the outside that's the ground and for the people who asked about that once this insulation is put in here all the way up and sealed just like this one right here this then becomes kind of like the soffit in your house or the ventilation this takes air from along the bottom comes up the entire roof line and then goes out the vent at the very top so it's just like the soffit in a house so your house can breathe so it doesn't build up with moisture and i'll try to put this piece of insulation back in here and kind of show you what it does is when you cut it wide enough to fit in here this piece is the same size and you'll end up breaking about half of it trying to get it in there. and that's one reason we kind of went with thermal ply thermal ply kind of hard to hold the camera and do it but then once this is 
nailed at the back and comes up the top. And then you got to get in here and nail it. The thermal ply just makes it a little bit easier to do. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's snowing outside and a little bit dark. But, uh, like I said, you end up with this ventilation space. This gives you some of a thermal break between here and the house. And like I said, most of these are built out of two by four walls. You can use a two by four or two by six, a two by eight, 10. I've never built one with 12s, but two by 10, you're getting close to R60. What I like to do with the thermal ply, put this up, seal it, nail it all in, and then just spray foam about one inch on it and then fill in the rest with bad insulation out to here. Um, and this is one other thing we do do. This bill's been sitting for a while. It's a metal fastener. And I'll show them on the mock-up. But this is what it looks like. This gets screwed into here or bolted. And then this goes down into the floor, into the plate. That also holds it on. And I'll show you some other ends of it. Well, uh, you can tell by this video, I actually shot this when it was snowing the other week, last week, and it's pouring down rain flooding now. But what I wanted to show you with this thing was we had porches on the back ends, uh, single doors, patio doors coming out in the middle, windows in the middle. If it's two stories, you can use them as a dormer upstairs. If you're planning on something 30, 40 feet long, it'll get kind of dark in the middle of it. You can lighten it up with a window. Um, don't know if I've ever, I've never put a door coming out the second story onto a deck, but I guess that can always be done. So if this helps you out, don't hesitate. My Gmail's right there, contact me. And I can keep giving you more ideas. I hope I answered some questions on the three and four inch width of the frame to be able to get the insulation in. And this is part three of questions and answers. So like anything else, like it, share it, subscribe it. We'll get to a thousand customers sooner or later and I'll be able to shoot a long video. Thank you for watching.